Two firefighters missing. Mayday. That was the Mayday call from a fire in Berwick that sent several firefighters to the hospital. Good evening, everybody. I'm Lee Goldberg. And I'm Amanda Hillen for Lindsay Mills. The crews were battling a fire at an apartment building where a roof collapsed late this morning. Zach Blanchard has been there all afternoon. And Zach, we're still waiting on a press conference, but what's the latest? Hey, Lee um, and Amanda. Yeah, we're awaiting that press conference any moment now. As you can see, crews still on scene here, and we have been here for hours. The fire first breaking out um, at 11 o'clock this morning, quickly going to a four alarm fire, and now we're learning five firefighters were rushed to a nearby hospital. As you heard with that Mayday call before, there were two firefighters calling for a Mayday in that situation. The roof clearly collapsing here, and as we've been here throughout the day, we still don't know much more. Um, um, other than that, investigators have been combing the scene. ATF has even been on scene here. We did talk to some neighbors, though, who said they heard the moment when it went to total chaos when those firefighters called for Mayday. Here's how they described that scene. To firemen, ambulances, and a lot of people running and getting people out, and a lot of smoke coming out and hollering, get out, get out. Pull him out of there, run him, get him out. There was hit, pounding on his chest for all it was worth, but his arms were just hanging down. He's like, it was no look on his, it was just like, he was all smoking looking and he didn't move at all. Uh, any sort of rescue operation to get their comrades out of the three story apartment building. Again, so a totally terrifying scene for them, as well as for more than 50 now, firefighters who responded to the scene here from 12 departments all across Maine and New Hampshire. Again, that press conference happening in any moment now. We will carry that live right here on air as soon um, as we learn more. Of course, we don't know anything um, about the condition of the firefighters. We have a crew standing by at the hospital. We'll check in with them very shortly. But for now, Lee and Amanda, I will send it back to you. All right, Zach Blanchard live in Berwick. Thanks, Zach.